Hello, my name is Mark Blocker, and in this segment we're going to cover how a chainsaw bar oiler works. I've got a chainsaw broken down here with the side cover removed, bolts removed to hold the bar in place so we get quick, easy access so I can demonstrate. Basically how the system works, the, hold, the chainsaw will have a holding tank with a cap, and that's where you fill the oil in it, and that reservoir will hold the oil. There's a pump that's driven off the crankshaft sprocket, or it could be a mechanical type of pump off a plunger assembly, and that's going to push oil up, and it brings it into the bar, into this hole, and also co collects alongside the chain, and that's what forces the oil into the groove. All the way around the bar has a groove assembly that the chain rides in, and that's how it picks up the oil. I'm going to remove the bar here, and here on the chainsaw, this long slot here is how the oil is delivered. If I remove this cover plate, you can see the pump assembly here that's driven off the crankshaft. This is a clutch assembly that pulls a chain. It's pushed up through this chinet, or excuse me, it's pushed up through this canal, and this block off plate here directs it right into a long slotted assembly where it can pick up in through the hole on the bar. And there's a hole on either side of the bar so you can reverse the bar, and that forces it up through the groove into the chain. That lubricates the bar and chain assembly. Okay, so that's how a chainsaw bar oiler works.